this interview is being presented by Intimidation Clothing. Impose your will. Uncivilize. Don't talk about it. Be about it. Be a beast among men. Adrenaline Training Center. Up your game. Change the way you train. TheDailyPunch.net. Have you got in your Daily Punch? Area 51 Fight Gear and MMA Mind Power. Late Night MMA Radio is live Monday and Thursdays, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific. Call into the show to win MMA merchandise. www.latenightmma.com. Join the revolution. Hey, I'm your host, Mark Anderson. Now joining us, Bellator fighter, Jessica Evil Eye. You there? Yeah, hey, what's going on? Not too much, not too much. What's going on with you? Oh, I'm just uh, sitting down enjoying dinner after a long night of training. Good stuff. It's been uh, about three months since we talked to you. Um, let's talk. We were uh, last time we had you on the show. We were talking a little Chris Cyborg, and I follow you on Facebook. And I know you have a <laughs> lot to talk about as far as Chris Cyborg goes. Let's hear it. Well, you know what? It's I, I want to get something straight because it's really not even Chris Cyborg that I'm attacking. It's the the action, more or less the action that I'm attacking. Sure. You know what I mean? Does that make yeah. sense? Yeah. Like for I'm sure. not attacking her personally. I'm attacking anybody who uses, you know, PEDs. I I think it's unfair. I think it's extremely unfair in a sport where you're physically, you know, you're physically attacking someone. I mean. Let's let's face it. We're in a fight where I mean you're fighting. You're not in there doing anything else. Like you're trying to impose your will. Yeah. And you're going in there with an extra added bonus that the other person isn't using. You're, you're getting extra testosterone. Your your body builds. And if you know anything about you know PEDs, and if you're any bit like not have any knowledge on it, you're going to know what kind of advancement it's going to give you. And that's unfair to me. In in our particular sport, using sports that you don't physically touch people. That's right, like tennis or something. I mean, yeah, that's you don't you're not touching the person. You know what I mean? Right. Who cares? Yeah. I mean, the ball. It's just to me, it's a it's a very different, completely different ball game, and I just don't I don't think it's fair. And I think I think that if you're my personal opinion is if you are a licensed fighter, you should be tested four times a year randomly. I think they should make it like mandatory. I would agree with that. Yeah, I think and I think it should be random. I think that it should be in in the state of like I mean or like then just show up and say, "Hey, you got to go pee." Right. Right. I do. The boxing does it. You know boxing does it. Like if you're an Ohio boxer, they can just randomly show up and say, "We want you to pee." Oh, really? Mhm. Did not know that. Did not know that. Yeah. Um, okay, let's move on though. Let's talk a little bit about Kelly Warren, your last opponent. Talk me through that fight. Right on. Um, Kelly Kelly was a good fight for me. Um, she seemed like she really did her homework when she was fighting me. She didn't, um, you know, she didn't stand in front of me a lot. She kept moving. She was extremely strong, you know, too, but I felt like I had a different game plan. I was going to stick with what I've been good at and what I know I have and just stuck to my game plan the whole time, and it just worked out for me. Okay, and your next fight coming up is in Bellator. Talk, me, talk to me about this fight. Um, my next fight is going to be against Ashling Daly. It's um, obviously my rematch. It's my only loss that I have on my record right now. Right, and I think yeah. It's, you know, it's a fight everybody wants to see, and, you know, it's going to be exciting. Like, I'm, you know, I'm on a great card, you know, with Eddie Alvarez and um, the other gentleman. I'll never say his name right. I'm sorry, but who is he fighting? Oh. Saki something? Yeah. Oh, I don't know how to say his name. I, I can't even so. think of his name right now. I actually like that guy. Submission special. Yeah, no, he's. I don't know how to say his name, but uh, at any rate, he. Um, you know, it's a great card to be on, and it's a great organization to fight for. I'm just. I'm excited to keep taking the next step to fight back in there, and you know, making it on TV is you know just a dream come true. It's just you know one step at a time of me climbing the ladder and getting up in the women's MMA world. For sure, and you're uh, six weeks out before this fight right now. How is your training going? Well, I'm technically seven, so I'm going to take that extra week. Oh, okay. I'm seven weeks okay. out. Seven weeks. <laughs> till fight week. It's six weeks, six till fight week. Um, but, you know, 
I, I've rolled right into it. You know, my life is is fighting. You know, I'm a full time I'm a full time fighter. I am there twenty four seven pretty much. I mean, I'm there in the morning. I'm there at night. I have clients. So, I mean, really, camp is going great. It's just as normal every day. You know, the only difference is I have to make weight on April 19th at 125 pounds and then go back in and do my thing on Saturday. Okay, and uh, we had some great women fights on the weekend for Strike Force. Uh, do you think anyone can beat Ronda Rousey right now? Well, you know, I'm going to be a little biased when I say this, but because, you know, I, I like her a lot, but I think Sarah McMahon is, you know, one of the 135ers that's flying under the radar that people haven't got a chance to see. And I, I think, you know, that's a fight I want to see. But I think that that's, that's going to be the girl that gives Ronda her uh, her challenge. It'll be another Olympian just just like her. Right. Okay, Tara LaRosa is coming up later in the show. What sort of game plan would you employ to beat her? So Tara LaRosa? Yeah. I personally don't. <laughs> I mean... Uh, I, she's a fan. Like I, I've always been a fan of hers. I mean, right. she's been, you know, since I since I got in MMA, man. She, I, I just looked up to her, and I always wanted to be like, you know, like a pupil to her. You know, and I've always reached, I've kind of reached out to her, and she's always reached back to me. But you know, I, I mean, if it ever happened to happen, it, it had to happen. I guess it had to happen. That's fighting. But I really like the chance just to learn from her and and kind of get, you know, pick her brain a little. But I feel like there's so many younger girls and girls that like that we've all started at the same level that I could fight right now. For sure. Okay. And I've been checking out a lot of women MMA rankings. A lot of the rankings still have Tara near the top. Do you still think she's ranked number one? I mean, with experience, yeah, and absolutely. I mean, she's the best of the best. Like, Tara deserves to be a number one because she was the one who put in all the time you know, when we first, before women's MMA even existed, you know what I mean? She put in the time, you know, years back. And I feel like, you know, she does deserve it. I know she's had a rough patch and she hasn't really been trying to, they haven't been able to find her any fights because of that. But, I mean, I, I don't have an issue with it. I don't have an issue with her being there right now. I mean, that's, these women's rankings, I try not to pay attention to them as much so either because they're so they're so crazy. Right, right. Okay. Um, as far as this Bellator fight coming up for you, is this a one fight deal or do you have multi fights? Um, I signed back. It's actually, it's funny that we that how it worked out. I actually signed a two year contract with Bellator um, back in at when I fought Ashley the first time back in June. So I've been with them now, you know, and I've already had one fight with them, but I've already signed, you know, multi, I guess, a two-year contract. So I'm, I'm with them for the next two years. But they do release me to fight for the NFS, which is really cool because it keeps me, I've been very busy the past, you know, eight months, eight or nine yeah, months. Yeah, for sure. And that's a local promotion for you, correct? That's correct. Okay. Um, any sponsors you'd like to thank or promote your Twitter or Facebook? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, you can follow me on Twitter at Jessica Evil Eye, or you can always find me on Facebook. Um, you know, just Jessica. Guy. It'll come up. You know, just Jessica. Guy. Um, thank my sponsors. I'd like to thank Fast Graphics for helping me. You know, with all my banners and my shorts. Atkinson Candy Company, Chico Stick. Um, you know, they've been an unbelievable sponsor of me for many years and supported me. You know, John Lennon, my team, Intimidation Clothing. You know, Cal Crawl, he's, you know, my trainer, and I think that's, you know, that's it, all the people. And Haas Auto Mall, I'm sorry, Haas Auto Mall, too, as well. Okay, good stuff. Well, we appreciate you taking the time for us tonight. I always enjoy reading your Facebook, some uh, interesting <laughs> thoughts on there, and uh, hopefully we talk to you soon. Yeah, absolutely. I hope you take care and enjoy the rest of the show. Okay, good night. Bye-bye.